Hey everybody, this is Oki Rob. <clears throat> I'm uh, going to try to do a little grafting today on some uh, peach trees. I just wanted to uh, show you this little tool. Uh, I use it. It seems to uh, simplify uh, the, the way I graft. It, it uh, has a little cutting blade inside here that uh, it makes a notch. And uh, if I had a little stick here, I'd. Uh, I demonstrate that but I'll uh, I'll show you when I uh, cut my uh, scion wood and uh, the uh, rootstock I just wanted to uh, show you this little little gadget it's it's not uh, required or necessary you can still have successful graphs with without it so uh, don't uh, think that uh, you have to run out and purchase one of these things I just uh, like to uh, try little gadgets but the uh, first thing I do is I, I get my wood stock here which this is just a volunteer seedling that uh, I dug up it's it's not a commercial root stock but uh, on my scion wood that I, I cut back in December and I've had in my refrigerator crisper I try to match it up with the with the diameter of the uh, rootstock where I'm going to be making the graft. You uh, don't want your scion wood to be a, lot, a bigger diameter than your rootstock. You can go a, a little bit smaller diameter on your scion, but you just don't want this top growth to be bigger than the, the bottom up down here. So I'm going to take uh, my little handy dandy tool and uh, do a cut in here and I'll show you the uh, the shape this this makes I just uh, place it inside of it here uh, running lengthways where I want to cut it And basically what it does is make a saddle. If you can uh, see the shape of that, it looks like a saddle. And I'll make another cut here that will go up inside of this graft. And I'll just set these down inside of it. go I don't know if you can see see the shape of that but the uh, scion wood I just cut will set down right on top of that and I'd like need to make sure I get some contact with the cambium layer which will be the light green color it's this a uh, scion stick here is a little smaller than the than the rootstock there, and uh, what I have here is some uh, paraffin tape I ordered off of eBay. I just uh, take a little piece of it, and it's kind of kind of stretchy, and I'll just uh, go around where I made this graft union. And I give it a little little pull as I wrap around it. it makes it kind of self-sticking. I'll just cover that union there where it doesn't uh, lose any moisture. It just takes a, a little piece of this. And uh, you do not have to remove this as the uh, graft grows. It will, uh, this little bud down here will grow through it. And once this uh, top 
piece gets established, I will uh, cut that that little bud off because I want the the tree to uh, be the Red Haven variety that I've attached to it, and I will uh, I will take off uh, the uh, the top of it here. That I don't need this all of this up here, but I'll leave. Uh, three or four of these uh, these buds on it just to uh, see which ones will will survive and I will take another piece of uh, tape and go over the top of, uh, of this to hold the moisture the uh, Deep South Homestead, he uh, had a uh, excellent tip for when you cut your scion wood is to uh, take a, a little dab of uh, wood glue and uh, place on the, the cut edges so it doesn't uh, lose the moisture. So that was a pretty good tip. Alright, we'll do uh, one more of these uh, White nectarines, put this uh, down a little bit. Put a little uh, tape on the top of this before I get it attached. Just to seal that, that top so it doesn't lose the moisture. Some grass growing here. But I'll just uh, slide that down on that uh, cut there and get that. Uh, lined up, take another piece of this tape, wrap it up, seal it up, try to get this uh, air tight. Just gotta be careful with this tape, you pull too hard it will uh, break. Just go right back over it. It uh, kind of self sticks to it itself. Once you uh, get the right stretch to it without breaking it, it'll, it'll hold pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to hold these in the greenhouse just to uh, keep the cats from uh, climbing around on them and uh, breaking that off. 